guys welcome back to the channel saturday october 25th we got how many days to my birthday 29 bad math four yeah four days to my birthday <laughs> but since amber works um and it's like during the week she's got a big surprise for me today so i'm gonna be vlogging all throughout the day and showing you guys what i get surprised with so stay tuned Do you know where we're going? No. It's a surprise. Let me see that dab one more time. Whoa. <laughs> gift early on the ride here i kind of assumed what it was um but what hotel is this nomo nomo so amber surprised me with a night in soho so we don't have to drive back and back and forth and we can kind of like live it up since she knows how much i love soho and stuff so we're gonna go walk around the city a little bit go to dinner later so where's the reservation at Balthazar. Balthazar, because every time we'd walk around there, it looked like super good, and supposedly the steak and fritz is like just as amazing as France. So I'm gonna eat there later, um, and I'll do a little bit of recording while I'm in there. Not too much, because I don't really want to disrupt anybody else's meals, but I'll show you guys what the food looks like. So I'll show you guys the view one more time, and then we're gonna hit the streets. <laughs> You can see the Empire State Building in the corner. Where? Look, can you come in this side? You see it. Oh yeah, you're right. It's right there. Yeah. That's Don't it right do. there, right? Look. Mm. Yeah, swerve it. Right there. Boom. Yeah. It's right there. How cool. It's sick. Look at the Freedom Tower. Where? Maybe we can visit Mike later. Yeah, I'm down. It's a cute little vibe. Gotta stop. Fix that shit up. That was hard. That's going in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just got some coffee because I need to wake the fuck up. My friends took me out last night. Um, they got me, I don't want to say trash because I don't drink like that anymore, but I definitely had maybe two drinks that I shouldn't have had. And I was definitely feeling it a little this, this morning. So I got some coffee. We're gonna get Amber some orange juice real quick. And then we're gonna go check out, if we got some time before dinner, the Alexander Wang sample sale that's happening. So um, stay tuned to that. Um, and then dinner, later. Do they have them? Yeah, that thing's sick. That's a nice plate. Yeah, that was a fail. I'm gonna help you. Move your finger. Move it. Third time's the charm. Look. You got this. I believe in you. Move your finger. Go. Yeah. Ten whole points. Woo! And the big boy. <laughs> this is the one. That one's 280. That's the one I need. What's on the back? Got a little sleeping face. Not, I don't think I'm dropping 200 bucks on this pillow right now though. So that can go right back. Intent, me and you just going to dinner or something and going home and relaxing on pooch. Off to dinner, me and the missus go. Hello. Looking very dapper. Outfit of the night? 
Looking pretty fresh. I must say so myself. Amber's looking fine and fire as usual. All right, so we're going to Balthazar. Um, I'll try to take some video of the food um, and then probably vlog a little bit of the rest of our night. So keep watching, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah, and I'm rocking the um, Celine biker boots. Just let me go and do that. I took the harness off so it's a little bit cleaner. Cleaner, dressier look. I'm wearing it with my heady Palladium collection. Soup. I've got the rolly on. on ice. Alright guys. Dinner time. Later. Out here in the streets. Whoa. It feels like I'm trying to remember to keep vlogging guys, but I'm also trying to enjoy my birthday. So I'm trying to balance both of them out right now. Um Yeah, but being here and like staying here, even though we come like on Sundays all the time. It's different, it like it just feels so different. Knowing that we're staying like right there. Yeah, it's way different. And you can see the Rick showroom from our window. Yeah, you can see the Rick Owens showroom from the window. It's just like it's I don't like have to rush. Experience. I don't have to rush home. I get to this show, walk around the city. I can have a couple drinks. I ain't gotta drive back. So I'm really just trying to take it all in, but also give you guys the full like experience of being down here and enjoying it. And I'm hungry as shit. That Balthazar is about to hit. Onion soup doubled up. <laughs> yeah, so we got the steak and fritz, both of us. Go ahead, dig in. All right guys, so we just finished up eating at Balthazar and the food was amazing. Definitely felt like we were back in France again. Um, the steak frits were so good. Um, the French onion soup was crazy. It was like amazing. The only thing that kind of sucked was that our waitress was kind of like, she just kind of sucked. So. Definitely. Well, elaborate on that. So she, we were like in her little section. We were like off in the corner. It was good. We were like away from everybody. But she like paid more attention to everybody else who was in like our section. Yeah. And we had like our plates on the table for like a really long time as she's like attending to everybody else. So yeah, like that empty was... plates. I mean, and before anything, I used to be a server for like two years. So with stuff like that, I just get a little picky because. It's like, you it's like know, you're I paying understand. all this money for this ambiance and this restaurant, so you kind of like go in. I'm not, you know what? Yeah, I am expecting to have like not somebody kiss my ass, but just like you know, we're paying all this money for something I could go somewhere else and get cheaper. Just be a little bit nicer, especially because we're probably most likely gonna leave you a fat tip. And even though she was a I mean, not be a extra mean person. Even though she sucked as a person, as a waitress, we still left her a juicy tip. You know why? Because that's how we roll. And yeah. if Balthazar sees this, your food is amazing. By the way, food is amazing, but your waitress sucked. Oh. <laughs> Air was out as the name, and shit, I don't take is the game. You feel me? You did. Tequila hit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna peruse around Soho for a little bit. Shut up. Oh. It's so hot at night. 
So earlier today was like wild outside. I don't know. Soho was giving out something for free because you could not walk. At all. At all. We tried to vlog and it was just like horrible in the street. Oh, I gotta flip it. I was showing on the street. Hold up. Wham, bam. Hey. Maybe that's me. Yo. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> What did he say? I don't know. I think he said something about selling me some weed. I don't buy no weed off of no sketch ass people in the streets. Here, bust this up. So we're gonna just uh, cruise around town for now. I'll get B-roll clips so you guys can see Soho at night too. And then maybe some more um, footage of the hotel, of the Noma Hotel. Cause that hotel is so sick. Yeah, the entrance at nighttime is like to die for. It's crazy. Definitely and gotta the, get that flick. And the view from our room is like crazy. You can see yeah. everything. That's what the so, 17th floor is all about. Yeah, so we'll get more footage of that also. I'm just getting some B-roll street. Oh yeah. That's how you feeling? What? That's how you feeling? Those. Yo, where's the heel? What kind of stub nub shit is this? Looks like an LV. Yeah, LV Virgil. You're fucking up. That heel, I don't know if it's an invisible quote unquote heel, bro, but you gotta get the heel. I don't see the heel. Shit is weak. Maybe with a heel, would have gotten a little bit more oh, of a pass. But there's no heel, bro. Fix that. Put, put fix that in, in quotes. Is this the FBI? Is it? Yeah. The feds? This is the federal building, yeah. The Illuminati? It's the all seeing eye? Some Illuminati shit in there. They got UFOs, I swear. <laughs> There's aliens somewhere in this building. Isn't this that Men in Black building? Isn't that? Looks like the Men in Black. Man, I don't want no Illuminati bullshit. I'm all set. We're out of here. <laughs> no smoke. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no smoke with the feds. I'm all good. I pay my taxes. Is that the feds that come after you? You don't pay your taxes? IRS. IRS, yeah. My bad, fellas. And ladies who watch this. <laughs> Anyways, so since we've never been to the Freedom Tower, we're gonna go see that and Oculus since it's probably not a lot of people there and we can get a little bit of footage in of that. So we're heading over there now. Well, hopefully it's not closed. I don't think it's closed. Is it closed? I don't know. If it is, maybe we can get um, well, Mike to let us in. We'll get some, uh, what's, the, what's the word for that? What? Police assistance to get us in. The extra helping hand. Yeah. Let's see if we could uh, work some magic if it is closed though. So. I think that's it. Pretty that sure. Means. Oh shit, look. Whoa! All those uh, Funko Pop shits you like. I do. Any good ones? All the good ones. He looks like he got every single Marvel one. Whoa. Spider Man, Iron Man, all the Avengers, Game Vegeta. Venom. I think that's it. I love you 3000. Tony Stark. She's still on the Funko Pops. Oh shit, it's super safe. Oh, yeah. Come on. Walk to the side. Walk to the Oculus. Stay on that side. I'll come up now. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's sick. How beautiful that is too. Damn.
The Hilton Hotel is sick. The Oculus is crazy. Yeah, it's sick. It's so beautiful. Look at the architecture of all the buildings just together. See, the, f the friend that I was telling you about that my dad went, yeah. they, they used to live in this building. The, that's the Freedom Tower. Oh, well then they lived in one of those buildings over there then. Yeah. Fail. It was one of these. It's near the mall. Wherever that mall is. Yeah. I, it's on that side. But this is the tower. Oh, well then. It's definitely not, it's definitely not that one. Maybe it's the one over there on the other side. But Mike was saying there's like three of them. There's tower one, tower two, tower three. And I was like, I only knew that there was one. Damn, this thing is sick. It's like a spine. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's just so crazy. Like fish bones. Yeah. Yes! Right? It looks like fish bones. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. So goddamn good. These things are sick. I've been over here with my dad. Yeah? Yeah, a long time ago. So we had a friendly little plug take us inside of the Oculus. He blessed us. So shout out to you, bro. Um, that shit was like so overwhelming and like beautiful and the yeah, whole, whole memorial. Yeah, the whole memorial was beautiful. Like we've never seen it before. So it was definitely sick and a nice little experience to go and see it at night when nobody's there and just kind of take it all in. So that was sick. And now we're just walking around this park, chilling before we go back to the hotel. So here's some more B-roll, chilling out here. So it was too rainy to film all day and um, me and Amber hit the Alexander Wang sample sale but it was also like you know we got to use our hands to kind of like search for the best things so I'm going to show you guys what we picked up and Amber's going to read off the price that we paid and I'll read off the original price so let's get into that. Alright so since it's cozy season coming up, I got these Wang sweatpants. Um, they're like a very thick but super, super soft cotton. Um, I have them in black, but I figured since I saw these, I would pick these up. It's a nice, like, very understated burgundy color. Um, retail is... Let's see if this focuses. It's always doing that. Retail is basically 500 bucks. How much did I pay for the sweatpants? 59.40 59 bucks so 60 bucks for the sweatpants so like what was it like 75% off Pretty much, yeah. I think Amber got the better stuff I'm just gonna I'm dumping this stuff on the floor yeah Amber Amber came up Amber got a bunch of the basic wang tees I don't want to drag them on the floor since they're white but she got a bunch of these like basic Alexander wang tees in long sleeve and short sleeve how much were your tees Retail on them is, let me read it, hold up, 
Retails normally. Thirty bucks a piece. Retails normally eighty-five bucks on these bad boys, so they came out to what thirty a piece. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's not bad. So she got four of those: two in white long sleeve, and two in no one white short sleeve, one white long sleeve, one black short sleeve, one white. So she came up, and then she got these bad boys because she has the long jeans of these. Um, these were. Where's the original price on these? Doesn't say it. Um, these were pricey when they came out because when I bought her the long jean version of these, they were up there. How much you got these shorts for? Hmm. Thirty-five, forty. Damn, thirty-five bucks. Yeah, and you know the jeans we paid like two ninety. That was worth my discount though, right? But that was normal price. No, I think two ninety five was normal price, and we paid like one something. Oh, all right. Well, thirty bucks for these isn't bad, and they're pretty sick. So for summertime, or if we go on vacation in a couple months, these are gonna be good. And they're like super detailed, tons of distressing. So we're one of the t-shirts. They're gonna look sick. Hell yeah! All right, guys. So that pretty much caps off um, the ending of this video um my birthday weekend vlog so hope you guys enjoyed uh, remember to subscribe crush that subscribe button uh dm me anything on instagram like you guys normally do if you have any questions like comment subscribe 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 we need to make that count go up as much as it can we're almost at a thousand maybe i'll do a giveaway when i hit a thousand but um thank you guys for watching stay tuned in the next video later